make some popcorn, grab a drink, and turn up the volume, because today we have another Day R video. If you're just as excited as I am about the big update, then stick around, because we're going to quickly go through what was released to us on October 7th about the new visuals, and also go over what the future of NPC trading might look like. I'm planning on making more videos whenever we receive new updates from the development team, so if you don't want to miss out, then be sure to click that subscribe button. With all that being said, let's get into it. We recently received some news about the update that many of the visuals have been completely redone. It looks like the player icon that we're used to seeing when traveling the map has been completely redone to reflect whatever vehicle you're in, whether it's the Blaze, motorcycle, helicopter, or the normal player icon. It'll be cool to see if the player icon changes when you put on different armor, and if these icons are visible to online players. I know that Taihuman would be quite the show of different icons if so. If this wasn't enough, it looks like the MP cities will also maybe have some customization to them. Also, the map of biomes has been slightly changed, so we'll have to see if there are any new multi-biome urban camps that can be made. Now, Campbell Commando, who's another Day R content creator, made a very detailed video about the new factions that will be introduced. So I'll put a link to that in the description for you to check out, because it's a very good video. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, but I did want to cover two things. What the deal is with Omsk, and what the future of NPC trading will look like. Omsk is said to be a heavily armed city that controls nuclear weapons and many explosives. It's also said to be a very important city because it controls trade between East and West. I don't know what this means for trading, but it does seem like many players will have to gear up before entering the city. And maybe even pay a toll if the train system does go through the city. Now the last thing I wanted to cover is the future of NPC trading. My main concern is that bulk NPC trading will go away altogether. As we see here, the trader has a limited amount of items to sell, and although this amount refreshes every real life day, I do have a feeling that we'll no longer be able to buy millions of items in a matter of seconds anymore. I guess we'll have to stay tuned and keep our eyes out for any updates on this. It also looks like the higher your reputation, the better deal you get when trading with the new currencies. I love to see the addition of a central player-led market for the online players where we can just post items for sale and other players can buy them at any time. This might be a big ask, but it would be pretty awesome for late game players and even beginning players. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos in the future about what we can expect in the update, because unfortunately that's all we have time for today. If you want to see more videos in the same playlist, then check out the link down below in the description. Also, check out Cambo Commando's video about the update, as he did do a great job going into the details about what we can expect about the factions and many other things. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one.